Each year, the nonprofit Hands of Peace brings together teens from the Middle East to discuss the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. We fight sometimes, and um, it is a really complicated uh, subject to talk about, but we do sit down and talk about different uh, problems that we go through, uh, discrimination, and all that. Organizers say taking participants to the U.S.-Mexico border at Friendship Park helps them see how countries can be so close yet seem so different. Being here at the border is really, I have, I have conflicted feelings. Um, it's so different from the two sides. You can see people on the Mexican side are having fun and swimming and then here it's, there's no one. Americans and Mexicans have a lot in common but they also are so different and they also the way they look at the border is different from each point and the same thing goes to the conflict and like Israelis how they look at the wall and how Palestinians look at it. The borders are very different from our border. Like, I, for me personally I think that the wall is very very different than our borders. When we stood here and we looked to the other side and they said like they have a family on the other side and they come here and it raises a lot of questions about, about, about the wall and, and their place here and in Israel and Palestine. Each year around 30 teens make the trip to the U.S. staying with American host families. It's a really difficult, challenging program for them where they leave very transformed. Maybe, you know, they have challenges but they come out on the other side feeling empowered, feeling like they know how to use their voice and maybe even be a leader in their community back home. After getting a chance to sit down and talk, many of the teens find they agree on a lot. In the end of the day, we have a lot in common when it comes to food and we also have a lot in common when it comes to pain because we both suffer from the same pain at the same time. Those who graduate the program have an opportunity to take a similar trip visiting Israel and the West Bank. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.